Hello everyone and welcome to the campus of LACC where we are playing host of Group A, Game 2, between the Southeast High School Jaguars and the Bernstein Dragons. I am Jose Luran thanking you all for tuning in to what should be a great one. We have uh, results coming in as these games are being played out across the Southland and we'll be bringing those results to you coming up shortly but wanted to go ahead and thank everyone for tuning in which should be a great one the southeast won their first game three to nothing at uh, top of the group and are facing a bernstein team are looking to go ahead and keep pace as we are underway from the beautiful campus of LACC. I am Jose Duran, thank you so much for tuning in. Like I mentioned, we have results that are coming in. And group A in this group that we're seeing here precisely, Southeast was able to go ahead and get a three win over Aspire. And this Bernstein team fell two to one against King Drew. So they're desperately needing to go ahead and get three points that they want to keep pace and possibly advance to the next round of this 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. We are live on the campus of the LACC. At earlier today, we were at Hanford Ranch Stadium in Cerritos, California for what was uh, Gar against Lakewood. Gar coming on top of that one in group H2 to 1. As well as Carson over Jefferson in group G. Three goals to nothing. We see a Southeast team here who are host of this tournament. Opening day of the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic here. This Bernstein team who is struggling of a bit coming into this tournament 1-3-3. Three, three, with a 1-2-3 and three record in league play. Southeast on the other hand have improved now to 7-3-1 and one overall throughout the season with a 2-0 record in a regular season, rather Eastern League play. Folks, we're coming to you live from the beautiful campus of LACC with a beautiful backdrop of downtown Los Angeles. This is the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic brought to you by Futboleando. We are live via uh, all our streaming platforms. I want to go ahead and thank you all for tuning in as we get right back into live actions. Reminding you folks to go ahead and give a like and subscribe to all of our streaming platforms. We will be bringing you games throughout the winter, Southeast Winter Classic, but as well as games throughout the regular season play of what is Los Angeles City Section Division I Boys Soccer. We see Felipe Damian running along. Here comes the Jaguars trying to set the ball through here. It's too long as they were looking for Nathan Castrellon there. Once again, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play announcer. One man gang out here as I'm taking multiple roles of camera, play by play, tech, audio, all to bring you this Southeast Winter Classic. What a great move here by the Jaguars. He's going to go ahead and get inside the box, trying to put the ball through, and not exactly the price they wanted. He was looking to get it back. I think that was Alan Sanchez. Ball's going to be cleared away. He's going to be throwing for the Dragons. Ball taken away. It's going to be a through ball here for Southeast. A shot! 
and the goalkeeper with the magnificent save here. We'll take a look at the replay here. Castrellon able to go ahead and go 1v1, but the goalkeeper of the Dragons able to go ahead and come out big, huge with the save there. And able to go ahead and send this one for our first corner kick of the evening. Quick keeper punches that one away. Going to be played back by the goalkeeper of Southeast. That was Ansel Rincon who clears that one away out of danger. Ball is going to be battled for in the middle, recovered by the Dragons. The Jaguars recepted. And here comes attacking from left to right, folks. We haven't mentioned it yet. It's the Southeast Jaguars, the two time CIF Division I boys soccer champions. And from right to left are the Bernstein Dragons team, heading from not so far away from here, from Hollywood, California. The other one hailing from Southeast Los Angeles, specifically Southgate, California. As the Jaguars are looking to go ahead and punch that ticket into what will be the next round of play. Winner of this group faces the winner of, excuse me, the second of Group B. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from the beautiful campus of LACC. In Los Angeles, California, for what it is group play of Group A between the Southeast Jaguars and the Bernstein Dragons back into live action. Nick Hernandez was trying to make a great move and able to go ahead and connect there. Great step over. Now a long through ball here. It's cut away, recovered again by the Jaguars. Have an overlapping run. They find him. Here's Felipe Damian. Got a great move by Castellon, able to go ahead and make a fake step on the box. Still keep pushing forward, still going forward. Gets away from two, gets away from three. Sends the cross in and not able to go ahead and get a shot till that final move. But a great move there from Castellon, the sophomore from Southeast. And he's able to go ahead and get in danger, but not in the back of the net. Ball's going to be fought for on the near side here. Still fighting for it. Not going to get out of bounds. Recovered by number four, Hernandez. Edwin Martinez getting in the action, but the ball's going to be recovered by Southeast. Back into possession of the Dragons. This is Hernandez. What a great move there by Martinez. Here's Edwin Martinez. Give and go. Great stuff from Hernandez here, able to go ahead and send across it. Not the best of clearance by the Jaguars, and now finally able to go ahead and clear that one out of danger. Recepted here by Fuentes, that was number 20. Still pushing forward, and handball says the referee is going to be a free kick in favor of the Dragons. A 
go ahead and thank you all for tuning in to today's actions. We are Futboleando, bringing you all the coverage that is the Southeast Winter Classic. Free kick opportunity here for the Dragons. Shot from the outside. Goes over the crossbar. No problems for the goalkeeper. Quick restart here from the back. The way that Jaguars like to go ahead and like to touch is exactly the way you're seeing it here without giving away possession. Here's Hernandez. Great ball looking here for Castrellon. Able to go ahead and save that one off the line. Still pushing forward in the corner. And very well defended by Hernandez. Able to go ahead and do a great give and go with his teammate. And he's able to go ahead and come out of danger. But gives the ball right away to the Jaguars. Here comes Southeast. Still pushing forward. They're in the box. Castellon inside. Referee. Says no foul, Castellon still in there, rebound! It's going to be a goal kick here for the Jaguars. The rebound was there, but I don't know, folks, you have to go ahead and look at the replay here. It looked 50-50 in terms of it could have gone PK or not. Referee says no foul. Giving away, here comes Southeast. Oh, ball giving right back to the Dragons. Here's Hernandez. Chest it down, trying to get control, can't do so. Here come the Dragons looking for a counter attack here. Fighting for it all the way through. Ball stays in bounds. And able to go ahead and get a control this one where the Jaguars are looking for number nine there, Caden Rodney. The sophomore and one of the captains for your Bernstein Dragons. Ball given away here. Here come the Dragons looking, pushing forward for an option, so what a great stuff and step over here from Ivan Palma in the middle, still pushing forward. This was Ruiz and still on the way from the Southeast Jaguars. Opportunity here, pushing forward, looking all the way up top and able to get there, no problems with the goalkeeper. Twelve minutes gone by in what is the first half. Remember, folks, in what's the Southeast Winter Classic, it's a 30-minute half, not the usual 40 that you see in high school soccer. So it's a 30-minute half. About half of those minutes gone by already in an entertaining 0-0 so far game. Referee's going to blow a whistle here. Foul. The battle between the 10s. Ivan Palma of Bernstein and Nick Hernandez, the junior out of Southeast. Once again, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. We are coming to you live from the campus of LACC in beautiful Los Angeles for what is the 2023 winter, Southeast Winter Classic. I want to go ahead and thank you all for tuning in and joining us via our multiple streaming platforms, via Facebook, via YouTube, via Twitch. Don't forget, folks, to give us a like and subscription as we'll be bringing you all the great action of the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic presented by Futboleando. Long ball here, cleared away, recepted. And back in control for the Jaguars. That was Andrew Sendejas, number 14 in the middle for Southeast. Ball is looking to go ahead and get back to him, but it finds a cleat of Morales. Here's Morales, still pushing forward. Gets away from one. It's going to go out of bounds in favor of Southeast Jaguars.
folks, stay tuned at halftime. In the break, we'll be showing you a drone shot of what is what it's like to enter the LACC Soccer Stadium, one of the hosts of the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. So stay tuned at halftime. You'll get a drone shot of what it is like to enter the stadium and get a great shot of the LAC Stadium, LACC Stadium here. One of the hosts of the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. Ball's going to be lost in the middle. Referee's going to blow a whistle for a handball. Handball, dead. Ball free kick in favor of the Dragons. Who are 1 3 and 3 overall in uh, league play 1 2 and 3. Looking to go ahead and get some danger. Ball's going to be shot in. Dangerous shot. Rincon able to go ahead and get a hand there. Last minute, we'll take another look at the replay. It's a great save by Rincon. We do have a corner kick in favor of the Dragons. They have one, two, three, four players in the box. Crossed in, headed away defensively on the half moon. Well, they almost got a shot on the rebound, but the Jaguars able to go ahead and get defensively. Referee says that's offsides. Yep. Last minute, but offsides nonetheless. Boss fought for on the far side. Going here between these two. If Southeast wins, they get four points so far. If they Bernstein loses here, they're pretty much uh, mathematically almost eliminated. This is Rincon for Southeast, able to go ahead and get a clearance. But they give the ball away, so there's some impositions in the back line for the Jaguars. Felipe Damian still pushing forward, trying to send a long through ball here. The Jaguars. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in on this jam-packed Thursday night football of soccer. Not your typical TNF, but of the Southeast Winter Classic, we've had almost over four hours of coverage today of 32 of the best soccer, I mean, excuse me, 32 of the best high school soccer teams in Los Angeles battling out to see who is the best team in Los Angeles. Clock's keep, clock keeps ticking here. 18 minutes have gone by. 12 minutes left in the half. Checking in was Hernandez. He receives the ball. Touches it in the middle. Great stuff and turn here from Sendejas. Sent a through ball here. Is able to go ahead and get inside the box. Still fighting for it 50-50. Deflected for a corner kick. David Velasco fighting for it there. We'll go ahead and go ahead and make his way back into the game. Back into live action here. Corner kick for the Jaguars. Up in the air, headed. Over the crossbar and for a goal kick, but nonetheless, the Jaguars were knocking there once again. We'll take a look at the replay here. Oof. 
Header goes over the crossbar. No issues for the Bernstein keeper. Here comes Southeast once again. Try to send the cross in. Can't do so there. Try to get a clearance, but ball goes back to Southeast. Recovered by the Dragons. Hernandez looking to touch the ball forward. Does so. Still fighting for in the middle. Who's going to gain possession here? Finally are the Dragons. This is Reese. Trying to fight for it. Now it's Hernandez. Trying to send a cross in, but no problems for our goalkeeper here. Twenty minutes have gone by in this one. Still zero zero. Want to go ahead and thank you all for tuning in. To coverage of the host team, the Southeast Jaguars, the host of the Southeast Winter Classic. Last year's champions, Bell High School, defeated Southeast in penalties. But last year's champions started on the right foot this tournament as well as they defeated San Pedro four goals to nothing. First game that was played earlier today over at Hanford Ranch Stadium in Cerritos, home of the Gar Gladiators. Throw in here. Referee's going to blow his whistle for a free kick. Quick restart here, and here we go. Still pushing forward. Here come the Jaguars. Referee blows his whistle, and it's going to be a dead ball restart for Bernstein. We'll take a look there at Felipe Bernal, the Southeast legendary coach on his 17th season in charge of Southeast. You can see his passion there. We'll go back to live action here. Still pushing forward. What a great through ball here. Referee's going to blow his whistle, and we're going to have a yellow card. Let's see what the referee's going to give it to. He's going to go ahead and give it to the Southeast Jaguar player, saying he's going to have a free kick in favor of Bernstein. Folks, we're coming to you live from the campus of LACC for what is Group A play between Southeast High School and the Bernstein High Dragons. Southeast winning the first game three goals to nothing. The Dragons falling two goals to one against King Drew. They have an opportunity here just to possibly take the lead here. Referee's going to go ahead and blow his whistle to go ahead and get this one started. Ball's in the air, headed, still loose, and finally cleared away from danger. Shot from the outside, still loose there, and Rincon able to go ahead and get control of this one. Imprecisions in the back from Southeast are costing them so far in the first half, but luckily for them, it's still a 0 0 affair. Referee's going to go ahead and blow a foul whistle here. Free kick restart. Coming in favor of Southeast. One of the captains looking for a clearance. Not the best of clearance. Able to find possession back to the southeast way. That was Uyua, Jason. Able to go ahead and clear it. Looks like they were looking for Castrillon. Able to get possession back on the Jaguars. Still fighting for it. So have a great shot of the Los Angeles Mountains back there. 
on a beautiful night here at Los Angeles Community College Stadium. I want to go ahead and let you know we will be at Hawkins Stadium tomorrow morning for what it is Palace States against Hawkins High School at first hour. And then we'll be right back here for the winner of Group A against the winner of Group Excuse me, second of Group B, second place of Group B. So stay tuned for those actions coming at you tomorrow via Fubuliando. Slide, dangerous slide. Referee says all ball. And here we go the other way. Opportunity for Bernstein to attack. Oh, we got somebody cramped up right away. We see it, yep. Unfortunate to see, but we have a player down for Bernstein. I mean, we want to go ahead and remind these folks, you all folks, that you know this is a lot asking for these student athletes. I mean, they're they're playing in what should be their, you know, for the most part, right? All the folks who are back home, holiday times, downtime. But these student athletes are pushing forward and they keep going in terms of what they have to do for them to keep the title of a student athlete, and that is to be competitive in all aspects, and it includes tournaments like these. It's a sacrifice that I think goes sometimes uh, it goes without many folks paying attention to that sacrifice, but we're here to go ahead and highlight that sacrifice for all of these 32 high school programs who have taken time off their holiday breaks to go ahead and participate in what is the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. So you see here a beautiful shot of Los Angeles and the beautiful campus of LACC right off Vermont and Santa Monica. For those of you who are wondering exactly the location. As we have, uh, we're back into live action here. After the brief injury of the Bernstein player. They played earlier today here as well, did the Bernstein Dragons. It was deflected, says the official, and it's going to be a throw-in in favor of Southeast. Excuse me, of Bernstein. 28 minutes gone by. Two minutes left in the half. Stay tuned, folks. At half, we'll have a drone shot of what it is like to, you know, go across the concourse, if you will, of the LACC Stadium into the stadium for what is the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. Offside says the official. 0-0 zero, zero in this one. So far, if things stay the way they are, Southeast will go ahead and get four points. Bernstein will get a point. And King Drew with the uh, possibility of if the result stays the same and they get a win, they will top group A. Restart here, given back to Southeast, excuse me, to Bernstein. Here come the Dragons trying to push forward. As we're just about a minute away or so for halftime. Reminder that it is 30 minute halves here, not the typical 40 minute halves that we're accustomed to. As Jaguars looking to go ahead and possibly get one of the last shots of the half. 0-0 zero, zero affair between these two as the host team, the Southeast Jaguars. Their second game of the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. What a great ball fuck put through here. Still fighting for it. What's Castellon? Not able to get through there. Official says it's a foul and a free kick in favor of Bernstein. Well, 
was restarted, battled for and controlled again by That's Hernandez. Cleared away. It's gonna go all the way back here and the official's gonna blow his whistle as that is halftime here from LACC as the Southeast Jaguars and the Bergstein Dragons are tied at zero goals apiece. We'll go ahead and keep it here and be back as halftime indicates it's a zero-zero affair between these two. We'll be right back with his group A play game two. All right, folks, we hope you enjoyed that Joan shot bird's eye view of what it's like to go ahead and come into LACC Stadium. <clears throat> A beautiful.
beautiful stadium here in Los Angeles as we're all set for what is the second half of this one, 0-0 zero, zero between Southeast and Bernstein. As we are underway in what is second half action here between the Southeast Jaguars and the Bernstein Dragons. The Jaguars unable to find the back of the net in multiple opportunities. The Dragons had one opportunity from a shot from almost half the field. The goalkeeper able to go ahead and send it to a corner kick. Here come the Dragons looking for a counter attack, still pushing forward and very well defended in the end by the Jaguars. That was number 10 of the Dragons, Palma, Ivan Palma, the junior. Ball's well, going to be lost for a throw in in favor of Bernstein. Early in the second, first half. Folks, I am Jose Duran, your play-by-play -play announcer tonight. Bring you all, all the action of what is the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic presented by Futboleando. As we have the Southeast Jaguars taking on the Bernstein Dragons. The team hailing out of Southgate, California, the, the other one out of Hollywood. See if we have a Hollywood ending here from either of these two. It would be great. Ball pushed forward, what a great fake still f there and cleared away defensively. Jaguar still in possession of this one. Here comes the cross, still loose there. Able to go ahead and turn, he falls down, referee blows the whistle for a penalty kick. Penalty kick and I believe there's no argument here from either side. The Southeast player does go down. We are gonna have a penalty kick and it's gonna be an opportunity for the Jaguars exactly what they wanted to go ahead here. We have a penalty kick here. I'm not sure who's gonna go ahead and, and take it. It looks like it's Castrillon. Yep, it's gonna be number 17, Nathan Castrillon shooting the penalty kick here. Of course, we're coming to you live from the beautiful campus of LACC. Back into live action play here. Opportunity for Southeast to go ahead and get an extension on this lead. Referee blows his whistle. Here comes the shot. Castrillon, and he misses it wide. He missed it wide. Castrillon had it all for it to go ahead and put that in the back of the net. We'll take a look at the replay here. It goes just wide, does this shot. It's still 0-0 zero, zero, and a golden opportunity gone to waste there for the Jaguars. Still Castellon pushing forward. He's going to get inside the box here. You see, it takes a shot. The goalkeeper able to go ahead and create a great defensive save. Still lose their second shot, and it goes over the crossbar. We'll take a look at another replay here. Castellon able to get a shot and a better save by the goalkeeper of Bernstein and just like that we have a jam action packed second half here come the Jaguars once again we are able to go ahead and get inside here's Jason able to send the cross in but no problems for the goalkeeper there that was Uyua Goalkeeper of Bernstein asking, pleading for his teammates to go ahead and push up. Here's this one. Passes the equator of the field. Ball's going to be played all the way back to Rincon. Checking in here is Jaguar player still pushing forward was Castellon. Ball's going to go all the way back. That's Ulises Davila. 
finds Galeno, the captain. Ball fought for on the far side. Great through ball here. Here come the Jaguars looking to go ahead and redeem themselves after that penalty kick missed. They're going to get inside the box. Sent through and a goal! Goal! As the Jaguars are able to go ahead and put that one into the back of the net and get their lead that they've been wanting and looking for here. Despite the penalty kick miss, it's one nothing in favor of the Southeast Jaguars. What a great play. What a great play coming from the backside from the Southeast players, able to go ahead and set a great through ball here and connect on a great goal. We'll take another look at the replay here of that goal. I believe that was Alan Sanchez, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, the Jaguars able to go ahead and get a lead here, and it's 1-0 in favor of Southeast. Back into live action. It's going to be a throw in here from Rodas. Goes back to his captain, Ruiz. Not able to get control of it as Sanchez all over him. Back to Rodas. Ball's going to be lost there and cleared away. As night has completely fallen on the campus of LACC here in LACC Stadium for Group A play between the Southeast Jaguars and the Bernstein Dragons. Take a look once again at the replay of that goal. It's a great setup and a great ball here. It's a great finish overall and great stuff from the Jaguars. Back into live action play here. Referee's going to blow a whistle and we're going to have a foul in favor of Bernstein, it appears. If you missed it earlier, folks, at halftime, we did show a bird's eye view of what it's like to enter LACC Stadium. We'll go ahead and show that to you once again right now as we have the break of the beautiful stadium they have here at LACC. Let's take a look at that. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in via Futboleando. Don't forget to like and subscribe our multiple streaming platforms for all of the great action that is the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic. It's a great sunset, great day, great overnight, overall day for soccer here in Los Angeles. See if you get a shot of downtown there. There it is. A beautiful shot of downtown Los Angeles on, as we said, almost close to Chris, uh, New Year's Eve, a couple of days away. Thank you all for joining us here. I hope you all had a great holiday weekend. We'll take a look at, once again, the Southeast goal. As we are ready and Set for live action once again.
Ball's going to be fought for and won by Southeast. Here come the Dragons. one nothing lead in favor of the Jaguars. Ball for a near side here. Here's Hernandez. Great defensive stuff from the Jaguars. Our two players fall on the Bernstein players. Still pushing forward. A slight last minute referee says play on. Here's Allen. Here's Sanchez fighting for it. Still fighting for it. It's going to be out of bounds in favor of Southeast. The Jaguars with this partial win, punching their ticket into the next round of the Southeast Winter Classic. Six points. They're plus four. And currently will pass on as first in their group and await the second place of Group B. Here's Sanchez, still fighting for it. What a great turn there. Crosses it in. Cleared away defensively. The ball's in the half moon. What a great turn. With his right, still going, trying to take a shot with his left. And ball back to Southeast. Felipe, the man from the outside, takes a shot. It goes over the crossbar. No problem for the goalkeeper. In terms of... In terms of Group B play, bear with us as we are getting results from you. Hamilton defeated Legacy one to nothing, and then Los Angeles defeated Elizabeth one nothing as well. So those are tied currently right now, and possible opponents of Southeast. As the Jaguars are looking to go ahead and possibly extend their lead here. Ball's going to be fought on the far side. Still pushing forward. It's end line. Crosses it in over everyone. Still there. And it's going to be loose for a corner kick. They were able to go ahead and get to the end line here. Get a cross in. But it's going to be a goal kick, excuse me, corner kick in favor of Southeast. Opportunity to get an extendo on this lead. We could hear the call from Coach Bernal for second pose. See if that's where the ball's going to be end up going. The ball's going to be actually played in short here. What a fake in the box, crossed in with the outside part of the foot. And bounces finally find its way to the Bernstein goalkeeper. He clears this one away. <laughs> Fought for in the middle, headed away, and the referee says it's going to be a foul in favor of Southeast. <laughs> Here come the Jaguars. Looking to go ahead and possibly get a second one of the night that will possibly seal this one. Ball played in the back, recovered by Bernstein. And here comes a counter attack for the Dragons. But to get the one right back to Southeast, it's going to be played all the way back to Rincon. See what he does. Oh, what a dangerous cut and move by Rincon. And he's able to go ahead and get his team touching. The ball once again. Ball's going to be passing the equator of the field. What a great turn here from Southeast. See, they have an overlapping run here. They do so. They're going to get inside the box. Fake inside, still pushing forward, but very well in the back. Defended by Bernstein. Ball still fought for. It hasn't gone out of bounds still. And now it does. It's going to be a throw in favor of Southeast. 14 minutes have gone by here. 16 minutes left in this one. Two nothing, one nothing in favor of Southeast. A couple of substitutions coming the way of Southeast. There's 
there's a pause here or is a substitution going out the opposite side of for Bernstein. We see goalkeeper Bernstein there. Efrain Madrid, the senior. Back to live action. Southeast looking to go ahead and get their second one of the night. But Bernstein on their way saying, we're still here to possibly tie this one. Ross going to play near side. Outside part of their foot. Still pushing forward are the Jaguars. Still going. Shot from the outside. It's going to go over the crossbar goal kick. No problems. We'll take another look at the Southeast goal here. Just a great cross and great finish overall by the Jaguar player. As the hosts are looking to get into the final once again, as they did last year. Sixteen minutes have gone by here. One nothing in favor of Southeast. The Bernstein Dragons looking to go ahead and get a tie here. They have time. They have to have the patience to go ahead and get through this solid Southeast defense. Outside says the official. We'll bring this one back. So we're coming to you live from the campus of LACC and we have a great aerial shot view of the downtown Los Angeles there as LACC is the host of the 2023 Winter Southeast Winter Classic. And here's the Southeast Jaguars able to go ahead and get through the through line shot. And goalkeeper able to go ahead and get their hands there and sent this one for a corner kick. We'll take a look at the replay of this one here. Yeah, what a great stuff here from Efrain Madrid, who sends this one for a corner kick. Back into live action play here. 18 minutes have gone by in the second half as the Jaguars are looking to go ahead and possibly extend their lead here. Corner kick, ball in the air, headed defensively. One-time shot from the outside. It goes over the crossbar, no problem for the goalkeeper, Madrid. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in to the 2023 Southeast Winter Classic being presented to you by Futboleando. Folks, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to all of our multi-streaming platforms via Facebook, via YouTube, via Twitch. We will be bringing you all of the action of what is the Southeast Winter Classic and as well as action of the LA City Section Division One Boys Soccer. So we've been able to go ahead and bring you great coverage of what is Division One boys soccer and happy to do so here. Ball's gonna be fought for in the middle, still going, shot from the outside, deflected and the referee's gonna say it's gonna be a corner kick, absolutely. But 11 minutes left in this one. It looks like the Jaguars are a lot closer for that second goal that Bernstein is to tying it up. We are going to have a substitution for Southeast as well as for Bernstein. Getting ready to make his way into this one, but not before we have a corner kick. One, two, three, four. Jaguars in the box, crossed it in. The goalkeeper can't find this one. Clearance is not the best, but Somehow it's back into Bernstein possession. 
So we're pushing forward our the Dragons. They have possession of this one now. And they're gonna go ahead and get a restart all the way back to the goalkeeper, Madrid. Madrid gives it away to a Southeast player. I think he was so shocked at the fact that Madrid able to get, get the ball right back to his feet. Like he even lost the ball right away. Ball's gonna be lost on the far side. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jose Duran bringing you our third game of this evening. Earlier today, we were in Cerritos, California at Hanford Ranch Stadium, home of the Gar Gladiators, bringing you that Gar victory over Lakewood, two goals to one, as well as the Carson victory over Jefferson, three goals to nothing. We were there, but didn't give you the coverage, but saw Bell as well go up and defeat San Pedro, four goals to none. Bursty not able to get a clearance here. Southeast looking to go ahead and get control of this one, still fighting for it there. And the Dragons finally able to go ahead and get this cleared away. Here we go, far side, still pushing forward. Referee's gonna blow whistles, it'll be a free kick foul. And right, we're gonna have a card here. Yeah, I believe it's gonna be for Galeno. He's not happy for it. My uh, Yair is gonna go ahead and go and take some minutes on the bench. We're gonna have a free kick restart here. Taking care of this free kick, it's going to be number 19 for Bernstein. As the Dragons looking to go ahead and get themselves back into this one, they have numbers inside the box. Ball's going to be played and punched away by the goalkeeper. The referee says, however, it's going to be a free kick dead ball in favor of the Jaguars. I believe there was a player from Southeast that was fouled. Either way, here we go, restart. Referee blow the whistle. It's going to be in favor of Bernstein. Folks, seven minutes left. Seven minutes left in this one. Southeast on top, one to nothing. Here. We're going to go ahead and get this one restarted. Headed away defensively by the Jaguars. Goes back to possession of Bernstein. We're here near side, boss going out of bounds in favor of the Dragons. That's Rodrigo Garcia. Well, you'll see here on frame. Getting the ball is going to go ahead and get us restarted here for a th with a throw in. Now he's going to go ahead and hand this one off to Palma. Here's Ivan Palma, the junior. It's going to be one of those long throw ins. These are as good as a corner kick here, folks. Palma getting ready for this one. Long throw in, long, 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 long throw in over everyone. Cleared away by Southeast. Referee said that's going to be a foul there. And a yellow card. Let's take a look at the replay of exactly what was called here. Yeah. And it's that kick. That kick in the end. The reason why he gets that yellow card. So the Bernstein player is able to, it's gonna go ahead and make wave here. We had to talk in Thulman from his head coach. That's number 11, Rodrigo Garcia. Back to live action. Sights and sounds of the Southeast Winter Classic folks come out. 
If you're in the area, if you're near the LACC area, if you're near the Marcus High School area, if you're near the Hawkins High School area, if you're near the Cerritos area, come out and join and take part of the beautiful 2023 Southeast Winter Classic and presence yourself some great high school soccer talent, the future of the soccer here in the United States. Here come the Jaguars looking to go ahead and extend the lead here. Ball's going to be open up far side. See if they get there. All the way through. Nope. It's going to run out of field. And it's going to be a goal kick. Rather throw in. Time's running by, though. Time is running out for Bernstein. Four minutes left into this one. Might have an early exit out of here. As the host team are going to go ahead and possibly get six out of six points here. Ball fought for official, blows his whistle. And he's going to give a free kick in favor of Southeast. Official fixing up his wall. So we're back into live frame and live action. Free kick for the Jaguars. Quick restart here. Not the best of passes, but they still get possession. Still going forward for it here. And inside the box, able to go ahead. An opportunity crosses in. Clear and affected away by Bernstein. Out of danger. Haven't been that much action here so far tonight. Outside of the goal and the penalty kick missed. I mean, that's about it. We had a save here and there, but not jam action packed, but exactly what you're wanting for if you're a Southeast, though. Three minutes left in this one. Ball's going to be cleared away. On the far side. And here come the Dragons. The goalkeeper of Southeast was off his line. They didn't catch that. And here come Bernstein. Still pushing forward. Southeast, however, are able to go ahead and get this cleared away out of danger. Once again, folks, we are coming to you live from LACC Stadium in beautiful downtown Los Angeles. Specifically, we're on Vermont and Santa Monica and back into live action play as the Dragons have about two minutes left to possibly get a tie unless the Jaguars are going to do anything about it. They're going to go ahead and get a quick restart here. This is Jeffrey Fuentes. Here's Fuentes. See who checks in. Gives the ball away. Ball still loose in the middle. Shot from the outside. Way outside! The goalkeeper able to go ahead and get a fingertip save on this one and sends it for a corner kick. Let's take a look at that replay. It looked like it was nothing. The shot from the outside from Martinez is deflected by Rincon, gives him problems. It's going to be a corner kick. A minute and a half left here and a possibility for Bernstein to go ahead and possibly get a tie. It goes ever, everyone, the header is still loose there. Off the line! And the referee blows his whistle as we have a dead ball. I believe it was a hand ball the referee is able to see here. Yeah, it does hit his hand there last second, but wow. I mean, just like that, something out of nothing. The Jaguars are, were just about to give up that lead that they had. And if for nothing, inches, folks, why it's still 1-0. Here comes Bernstein still pushing forward, headed forward all the way through. Goalkeeper off his line. And the Jaguars able to go ahead and breathe a little here. Bernstein still in control, however, they're in looking to possibly tie this one. Cleared away out of danger, still loose there, still fighting for it. And here comes Southeast. Loud ball put forward here is Alan Sanchez in the box. A shot! A goal! Goal! 
Golaço! Gol! Of the South, these Jaguars, just as they looked like they were going to give up that lead. A great counter attack and play by the Jaguars just completely blows this one up. We are now two to nothing, and it's just we're right about the nick of times here for this to be game over. Referee blows his whistle to restart. It's two nothing in favor of Southeast. Two great goals, two great goals by the Jaguars. Have them plus six and then leading the group A here. Referee looks has his watch. We have it at 30. We want to go ahead and remind folks that there was some injury timeout on this one. Which might be why the officials giving extra time here. Long throw in for Bernstein here. Player comes back into frame. Long throw in. Loose there. Cleared away from Southeast. It's going to be deflected off a Jaguar player for a throw in. Once again, Palma. It's going to go ahead and get it as we started with one of those special long throw in. It's Golasso! So, goal for the Bursty Dragons as that one hits the back of the net. The official blew his whistle. Not sure if he blew it completely dead, but either way, it's 2 1. Bernstein able to go ahead and get a golazo shot from the outside to get this one 2 1. Yeah, and just as that one hits the back of the net. The official time had completely run out. As we remember, it's a 30 minute halves in the Southeast Winter Classic. The 30 had hit. Nonetheless, the goal goes in the back of the net as Bernstein able to go ahead and top this one with a two to one, but not enough as the Jaguars move to eight, three and one overall on the year. And 2-0 and oh in Southeast Winter Classic play. Six points, differential of plus four. It was plus five until the last second goal there. Plus four. They await the results of King Drew to see who's going to advance first or second. But the Jaguars able to go ahead and get the, lead, the win here. Two to one. This is our last coverage of tonight. Make sure you follow us on all of our platforms on Futboleando on Instagram, on Facebook. We're going to be updating all of the standings as they go and as the night recaps. But make sure you follow us on all of our, our multi-streaming platforms as we will be bringing you all of the coverage of what is the Southeast Winter Classic. Tomorrow, reminder, we will be at Augustus Hawkins Stadium starting at 10.20 a.m. for Palisades against Hawkins. The number four Palisades and offense are facing the Hawkins. And right after that, at 2 o'clock, we'll be right back here at LACC Stadium for what is the winner of Group A versus second place in Group B. So far, winner of Group A, it's going to be Southeast Jaguars if it stays the same. And they'll be facing second place of Group B, who we're still waiting for to see between Legacy High School Hamilton High School. So we're still waiting to see results for Group B. First, uh, Hamilton won Legacy and Los Angeles beat Elizabeth. So we're waiting to see those results, see who ends up being second place of that group and see who are going to end up playing the Southeast Jaguars. But one-man crew here, Jose Duran, camera guy, tech guy, audio guy, play-by-play. -play. On behalf of everyone here at Futboleando, thank you so much for tuning in on today's broadcast. We'll see you tomorrow for Palisades versus Hawkins. This is Jose Duran. Thank you so much for tuning in.